My name is Jarrell Roach, AKA J Roach, Mr. Hilarious Hope. I am from Lincoln, Nebraska. I have been doing comedy uh, for about 10 years now. What inspired me to do comedy is really being the class clown and hanging around a bunch of people that brought joy and energy. I, I love comedians, but man, really, it was the people I grew up with. I love to work with Michael Jr. I love to work with John Leguizamo. Uh, those are two of my favorite comedians. Uh, people, people make me laugh the most. I know grown men have no business saying this, but I think people are adorable. And uh, people have a way of doing the funniest things, man, in all shapes and sizes, colors, genders, whatever. And uh, people are my greatest inspiration. Tonight, you expect energy, engagement, and authenticity. Thank you. All right, what up, what up, y'all? Welcome to Comedy Society. This is season two debut. My name is Lavetti Vegas. I'm here to host this thing tonight. We're doing good. There's a lot of lovely faces in the audience. I love it, Ben. I love your smile. Well, you know, oh, you're not smiling. Never mind. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, man, we got some great comedy tonight, man, from a great comedian. But first, I want to tell y'all about me going to Starbucks, man. Now, I don't know how many people drink Starbucks. How many people drink Starbucks? <laughs> not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was a fan of Starbucks, but that's cool, man. Now I go to Starbucks, man, and I'm going through the drive-thru. I go to Starbucks and I order, and I, and I like getting the strawberry frappe, extra whipped cream. Don't judge me, lady, please. <laughs> and, they, and they ask me, they're like, well, what size? And I say the big cup. Now everybody knows, man, at Starbucks, they got their own sizes. They say, what size? I said the big cup. You know who this is. <laughs> Come here every morning. They say, oh, how you doing, Mr. Vegas? You want the Vinci size? I said, yes, thank you, Rachel. I drive up and I pull up, and they said, man, it's just so nice that you go to Starbucks every morning and get coffee for your girl. Yeah, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I said, it is, ain't it? <laughs> they was like, I wish I can have a boyfriend like you. That is just so nice to get. I uh, get, get to girlfriend coffee every morning, 5.30, every time, and go right to her job and give it. I said, yes. Now, the reason I do this is, because look, I'm a big guy. You know, I'm not like a Terry Crews type guy, you know what I mean? But I'm a big guy, I, I'm a tough guy. I, I got a tough guy image. I can't be saying, hey, can I get the strawberry frappe with extra whipped cream? Because I'll be known as the Starbucks guy. I don't want to be known as that. So I have to lie and say, hey, this is for my girl. So I got the nice guy image, but I'm a liar. And I know that's not the greatest thing to do in the world, but that's what happens. So one day, I'm going in there, doing the drive through Everything's good. Everything's fantastic. One of my girlfriend's friends is in there like, oh, hey, Le Levetti, I didn't know you drink Starbucks. I said, I don't. Michelle does. And she said, she drinks Starbucks? I thought she drinks scooters. I'm getting busted out in the drive through and I said, I said, no, she's she been drinking Starbucks. So I got a text and we got to have a Starbucks date one day. So I'm thinking to myself, okay. Now, it's either one or two things. I can tell them the truth and tell them that I drink Starbucks extra whipped cream with my strawberry frappe. <laughs> or I can keep this lie going and sleep on the couch when I get home. <laughs> One or two things. Now the thing about it is, if I keep up the lie though, this is the thing, if you keep up the lie, it gets worse when you get home, right? Because then she's gonna ask me, well, if you don't drink Starbucks, then who are you getting it for? <laughs> right? Then I'm even more trouble. 5.30 in the morning, Starbucks, she doesn't know I drink Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks is my mistress, right? <laughs> right? I can't tell her this though. But now her friend knows, and I'm, I'm friends with her friend's boyfriend. And if he knows I drink Starbucks, he's not gonna pay me to play basketball at the gym. <laughs> we can't pick him, that's a Starbucks guy, man. You can guard him, right? <laughs> It'd be terrible, man. So I was thinking to myself, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do in this situation. So I just kept lying. As every man does. Every man does. Every man will keep lying about that because nobody wants to get called the Starbucks guy. I can't be in the club and be like, well, I ain't dancing with that dude. He likes extra whipped cream and the strawberry frappe. <laughs> That's the Starbucks guy. It can't happen, man. I love Starbucks though, man. It's real good, man. And usually, like I said, I go through the drive through But this time I decide to go in. You know, and they stop me, man. They say, hey, you can't have that in here. I'm like, what? 
He's pointing to my dog. I said, what you mean I can't have, have this in here? I thought Starbucks allowed dogs. He said, we do allow dogs, but we don't allow pit bulls. I said, excuse me, sir. This is a transgender dog. <laughs> he was born a pit bull, but now it's a she, and she identifies as a chihuahua. <laughs> That was the best Starbucks I ever had. <laughs> y'all ready for y'all comedian for the night? I said, are y'all ready for y'all comedian for the night? Now this guy, man, this guy, he's been doing comedy for 10 years. He's a military vet. And I'm not gonna lie to you, he don't know this, but he was on the very first show that I ever booked. It was me, him, Ben Webb, um, a couple other comedians that's not important because they're not here. <laughs> but <laughs> I was so hyped to work with him, and then he introduced me as Levetti. I was like, whoa, 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 he messed up my name. He messed up my name. I never told him I was mad at him for like a month for messing up my name because it was on video and everything. But hey, man, I forgive him. He's a great guy, great smile. He's here to make y'all laugh. Give it up for Jarrell Rose. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, yeah. You know when people kill you softly, he basically just called me out and said, I forgive him though, that's what he did. I was like a four year grudge, man. Man, my bad, man, my bad. His name is transgender, I just called him another name, that's what happened. That wasn't a transgender joke, that was your name joke. That was, you got a black mama and she named you the wrong name. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. It's good to see y'all. It really is, the light in here is really working well, so I probably don't look as dark as I normally do. And, uh, but I have been working on my tan just in case I fooled y'all. But the thing I'm a little concerned about is that this, this light is gonna catch all my spit, all right? And uh, y'all might catch a little bit too, all right? But uh, don't let it offend you, I just warned you, okay? Uh, big lips, they dangerous to society. And I know most white folks don't have that struggle but just come along with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just come along with me. And uh, if you're happy to be here, make some noise. Come on, y'all. <laughs> come on, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I mean, it's a good crowd, y'all. Obviously, are ready to be here, and y'all are very conformative. Y'all just doing exactly what y'all say. Give me some money, please. <laughs> no? All right, next joke. All right, and uh, uh, man, it's good, I'm good. It's, it's a good day to be alive. You know, I don't know what I would do if I wasn't alive. I couldn't say stuff like that, but I'm glad to be alive, and I'm glad to see y'all, and I'm glad to be here with Leviti, and uh, it's really a good day. It's really a good day. Y'all got a great host of comedians here, and we're gonna have us a good time. Can I crack some jokes for y'all? Say yeah. yeah. Okay, I just wanted to know. I'm not gonna do it. I just, <laughs> just wanted to know, but since y'all being all forceful, I told, <laughs> I told this old fellow one day, sir, have a good day, and he turned around, me, he turned around looked at me and said, Stop telling me how to live life. I said, I would shank you in your neck if I, if I was a nice guy. You know, I'm just, I'm just playing. And uh, can we say that? I don't know if that was clean enough. And uh, I work as a pastor. I don't know if you guys know that. If you guys like pastors, say yeah. yeah. See, you guys are conformative. Like, you got to just say it because you're in an audience. You know what I'm saying? Um, and... Uh, I work as a pastor, it's really good. I think God is real, I just think people's crazy. I just think that's kind of how it works, you know? And oftentimes people are like, God ain't real. I'm like, no, the person next to you is crazy and that makes you think there ain't no God. How could God make him? All right, that's what, that's what you're trying to say. And, uh, but I love, I love preaching, I love preachers, I love Jesus, I love all that good stuff, man, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm talking about Jesus, the Jesus, the Latino Jesus, you know what I'm talking about? And uh, but I love Jesus of Nazareth too. I just, I just, you know, I'm in a place where I get out and I speak a lot and you gotta be PC and people are like, ah, we don't do that kind of stuff here. And I speak in front of big audiences a lot and they're like, oh yeah, he's great. Oh, he's a pastor. Ooh, we don't want him here. And uh, you know, I get it, I get it. I absolutely get it because people are crazy. People are crazy. And I'm gonna tell y'all just how crazy people get. Um, I think P 
people are crazy when they try to hide farts, you know? And I know it's a little bit of reverse psychology, <laughs> but I think it's more rude when it sneaks up in your mouth in a room and no one says nothing. <laughs> yeah, because you're like, is the AC bad? Is there black mold in here? God ain't real! You know, you think stuff like that. You think stuff like that, you know? And, uh, um, wow. You know, and it just hits you right in your mouth. And I don't know if you've ever been embarrassed enough or had the privilege to fart and think it was gonna be quiet and it snuck up on you and it was a little louder. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, say yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, thank you for helping me. You're making me think God's not real. And, uh, and um, you know, it's the kind of fart where you just, you, you bent over just a little bit, like that. Do it in your seat right now on the count of three. One, two, three, do it. Okay, you guys are not conforming. Do it, church. One, two, three. Yeah, right there. See, you had practice. You probably failed, okay? You were probably the one that thought it was going to come out like But it came out like And they caught you. They caught you. It's not like a door that had a bad hinge on the bottom where your butt was. That's... <laughs> yeah, God's real. And you see, you hear people in church all the time preach and say God has a sense of humor because he made you, all right? I'm like, oh my God, I heard the last pastor say that, all right? Shut up, all right? Because I heard you run into the bathroom, pastor, all right, and barely make it. Have you ever heard somebody sit down in the stall next to you and you're so curious because of the thunderstorm that is coming from the stall? And you just want to look down and look at their shoes and be like, oh, that's Pastor. Whoa, God, you should deliver him from milk because he is lactose <laughs> intolerant. And they barely make it in. It's just like. <laughs> I'm like, give it a break. That dude is going to lose his stomach over there. Everything's going to come out if you do not deliver him. From evil, because man, like, <laughs> that stuff is not righteous, I tell you that much. And you know, there's something about sitting in the other stall and listening to people wipe their butt. And um, when you have a squeaky roll, it's so funny, because it's like, ee, 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 ee. I'm like, horror movie in the next stall. Where is Michael Myers? Those are his boots. Can I get a witness? And there's, you know, thank you so much. And there's other times where you hear people go to stand. They're the, they're the fragile booty ones. They go to stand up to wipe, and you can tell they were hovering the whole time because the toilet keeps flushing. <laughs> it's the automatic toilet. You can tell they're over there just standing up, legs just quivering. Uh, uh, he looked like a little chihuahua. Uh, uh, tsh, uh, you can tell when they go to wipe their butt because they go, dang it. And that means there's no toilet paper. God, would you give him a ram in the bush? In Bible terms, that meant God provided something when you're in dire need. And then you hear him scuff out to the other stall. And he turns, you can hear the turn. And you can hear the commotion of him reaching over there. And he won't even go and he's just reaching around the stall. And someone walks in. And I assume it's a bare white booty because it's, oh, dang, all right? Because I would if I walked in and seen a naked black booty, kind of weird. But when I walk in and see a pale white booty, I'm like, oh, dang. You need some sun. <laughs> like Jesus, sun, on your butt. And you know what really disturbs me is when you hear people wipe. And you can, you can tell when they go from there to wipe. Go back two or three times, player, because if you only do it once, I can guarantee you have failed. You didn't even look at it. I can just tell, just boom, 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 pants up. Not enough time. And you're making me doubt God right about now. Or what concerns me is when people wipe and they don't wipe, they rub. I'm like, what is that? I hear this. You had no home training. Fika, fika, fika. That was one piece and you're rubbing it. Stop it, stop it. 
And what really concerns me is when you hear him skadoosh, pull it up, and walk straight out. I'm like, no. Hey, come back here. He didn't wash his hands. He didn't wash. You are so nasty. You're going to make me become an atheist. Are you kidding me? Wipe your fingers. Right? No, I'm not. I'm watching you. I look at your shoes and I go into the lunch room, the lunch room, and I'm just watching you. That's right. I'm watching you. I'm, I am, I'm. Oh, I'm paranoid. I'm FBI. I'm CIA. I'm Crime Stoppers. I'm the troll on social media. He put C8 on the vending machine. I will never touch that vending machine any day. C8 meant cruddy fingers. Eight. That's what it meant. You can tell when you're professional, when you come up and you make up the first half of your set. I shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> Let's me know that there is a God. And I just want to let y'all know right now, I am straight. I just want to let y'all know right now, can I get a round of applause? I know that makes you almost feel condemned because everybody's so moody. I am very straight and I am very happy. I love women. I love my life. I got babies because I am straight. I got a ring on my finger because I wanted to have sex with my woman. I am straight. I was born this way and you know what? Since I was a kid, I have felt this way. When I became a teenager, I thought, dang, I love women. And you know what? I'm so glad about it because it makes everybody feel uncomfortable. Why does no one celebrate my straightness? Can I get a round of applause? I am so straight, it makes a ruler feel that he is judged. I am so straight, I am the quickest line between A and Z. I am so straight, I was raised by my mama only. If you laughed at that joke, it made no sense. That's it, I am straight. And I am proud to be straight. I don't have any national holiday. I just have an anniversary, and that's it. And usually, I'm the one spending money for it. And I'm so proud of it. I look at my kids, and I go, hey, you know what I'm most excited about? You. You got here. Why? Because daddy is straight. And I was there when you came out of mama. And I said, this is the byproduct of being a heterosexual male that loves women. And I know we are in a day and age when everybody's so touchy. I didn't say anything about the thing you're thinking about, and that's why you are so offended. Because we are so offended. He got it, all right? I'm just a happy, straight dude that loves to watch my wife walk down the hallway and go, girl, you are switching. <laughs> And she goes, no, I'm not. And I go put on YouTube and tell the kids to stay downstairs before I beat the black off you, because I'm going to go practice making some babies with your mama. Thank you. That's my time. You all have been excellent. guys off because a black person's on time, but I was also <laughs> early <laughs> because I'm straight. Give it up for Jerome Rose, man. It's funny he talked about being on time, so he's supposed to be up here for 20 minutes. That was about 12 minutes, bro. You know? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was just about to go pee before I knew he got off the... <laughs> man, for real. Man, oh, he ain't coming back up. He's straight and he's a pastor. And he's not gonna tell y'all nothing else. Um, I guess I'm about to be weird. How much time do how much time do we do, Mike? Do you know? All together? We still got five more minutes? Damn, like I gotta come up with five minutes and then five minutes again. Okay. <laughs> they do weird. We're we gonna cut this we gonna cut this part out though, right? Jarrell, you killed me. Tell more jokes. You was supposed to be a perfect for 20 minutes, man. Hey, I'm, part, I'm working on black excellence. <laughs> well, None of you white people can judge me. <laughs> you done failed. <laughs> you done failed. If you're working on black excellence, you done failed. You got an F. <laughs> F on time. You <laughs> Give me the mic, Vega. Oh, well, you ready? Five more. No, you stay right here. <laughs> you stay right here. This is like a black rep 
reformation check that they denied us from the government. <laughs> Slavery was real. <laughs> and I got Indian in my family, hence the waves in my hair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, you're gonna stay right here. <laughs> like I'm disciplining you. You guys asked the class clown to come up here and be funny. I got one job. I did it on time, and I don't even get a promotion. This is called black on black depravity. You keep saying you did it on time. You had 20 minutes to be up here, man. You was up here for about 12. Oh, let me ask my white brothers and sisters. Was I on time, yes or no? Yep. See? They don't know how long you're supposed to be up here. He you say you could you He is running on colored people time. And I don't know if we can say that on public channel, international channel, whatever the case. <laughs> this is the first episode, man. We, we, we messing up. <laughs> no, we're not messing up. If you want to see good comedy, this is how you see it. Right. Not everything is cut and dry and pretty. Right. <laughs> we are humorous people. This is not. This is, this is what got us sit down to the principal's office, and now we're getting paid. Wait, we're not getting paid. We're not getting paid tonight. <laughs> but we're getting paid in community love. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Black strippers. Dot com. Paint strippers, where is your mind going? I told you I was a pastor. All right. This is not Sunday morning. Five Sunday. minutes. <laughs> this, you, you gave us three minutes. I don't know what. <laughs> your wife's probably used to you ending early, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't grill, but I will roast the black dudes off this brother. Black Panther! Wakanda's not even real! But I will make it feel like he never even existed! That's why we don't got nothing, man, right? But I support black I support black business, so I'm gonna let it go. And that's why I'm married! Nope. I, I appreciate it, Jarrell. How much he's yelling, he got to be a pastor, man. There is, there must be an invisible Bible right here. <laughs> give him some holy water or something. I don't know what's going on with that dude. Man, he had a vein popping out of his head and everything. Did anybody else see that? I'm scared to get off the stage to even talk to him, man. He's a little... All right, well, <laughs> give it up again for Jarrell Roach one more time. <laughs> Thank y'all, and y'all have a great night.